everyone welcome back to my channel it's me myself and I Merci Dari hello <laughs> in case you're tuning in for the first time hello you're welcome 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 thank you so so much for tuning in today so guys today's video is going to be uh, trying out products for the first time these new products I'm going to be you know reviewing today are all Juvia's Place products okay so yeah before we start i want you to do one thing for me and that is to make sure you're subscribed to this channel make sure you give this video a good thumbs up and don't forget to share so without further ado let's go ahead and start today's video i'm going to be reviewing four products from juvia's place and before i start i want to give this very big shout out to my girl brenda you guys She's just an amazing girl she's my best friend and she blessed me with all these products when she was coming into town so these are really recent juvia's place uh, releases so i wanted to come out here and just share with you guys hello brenda if you're watching this video thank you so so much i appreciate it okay i love you so the yeah. products i'm going to be reviewing today is the juvia's place i am magic foundation and it looks like this so I'm going to be reviewing this foundation for the first time. I know it has been out for a very long time, but I don't mind. This is my time. The next product I'm going to review is the Violet by Juvia's Place, and it looks like this. The next one is the Juvia's Place Highlighter. Guys, I tried it when I received it. This highlighter is super pigmented, like I'm not even going to last product I'm going to to review is the concealer by Juvia's Place. These two came out together okay the foundation and the concealer but here I have the darker shade and this is in the shade number six. I think I'm going to use it for contour it's really dark as you guys can see it is really super dark. That's basically it. So let's jump right into the review. But friends, let me go ahead and swatch the. So guys, this is my first swatch ever. This is my first time doing this. So if it's not perfect, don't blame me. So the the eyeshadow do not have names, but from here moving um, to this end, it has it comes with two matte shadows and four. Uh, shimmer shadows so these are the colors here is a matte shadow yes matte shimmer 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 okay these are the swatches and this you guys they are so so pigmented and so yeah. guys i've gone ahead to prime my face and i use the elf tone adjusting face primer so guys the next thing i'm going to do is apply the foundation and from the reviews i have seen the foundation is super matte and I am in the shade Havana Havana 420 so that is my shade guys since I received this I have not even tried it okay this is the first time I'm trying as you guys can see everything is still very clean I have not tried this so let's just go ahead and does it even have like does it say anything like shaking shake before use apply product with a wet beauty sponge or synthetic makeup brush with a sweeping and buffing motion all over the face okay i have my beauty sponge ready and what i have seen about reviews a little goes a long way so it has a seal i'm just going to peel this off and there it goes so i just spray that this is my perfect shade so when she sends me the shade uh, ranges i decided to go for because it has the same sh uh, shade range with a uh, uh, mac fixed fluid in ncw 45 i don't have that foundation but so far i've seen so many uh, youtubers who use that foundation and i feel like we have the same skin tone so that is why i choose havana 420 because it's the same um it falls under the same category with a uh, mass to do fix fluid in nw45 okay this is just this is one pump and i'm going to just add just a little bit more this much beauty sponge ready guys this looks so light oh my god it's so light oh my god Can you guys see that? Oh 
Hmm. Okay. <laughs> Let the magic begin. Uh, okay. Ooh. I feel like this is so light. <laughs> this is all my shades, you guys. <laughs> okay guys so this is how far it's looking it's a little too light for me because normally when i choose my foundation i usually go for shade that will match my nail because my face is actually darker than my skin okay but after blending everything i feel like okay it has a yellow because i have a yellow on the tone and it's also like yeah it has that yellow on the tone kind of shade but i feel like okay i can manage this but i'll have to mix a little bit of a darker shade to, to get my shade okay havana 420 is definitely definitely not my shade color because it's too light for me i wonder how my face is going to look like when i contour and highlight and all of that <laughs> but so far i can feel the mattness of my face that the matte effect is real you guys it's so real oh my god like this is just perfect for me like <laughs> i have an oily skin and you guys look at my face it's super duper mad brenda <laughs> juvia's place <laughs> you guys so guys i'm gonna head to highlight my face and now i'm going to contour okay guys you know that this is my first time of using cream contour i don't do cream contour i always do like a powder contour so this is going to be my first time I heard it's so difficult, but let's just try. So I'm going to blend using this con this contour brush. A few minutes later. Okay. Hey guys, so I am back with setting my face. So to set my highlighted areas, I use the Sasha Buttercup setting powder. And to set my contour, I use the LA Girl uh, contour palette and I use this shade right here. Next, I'm going to draw my eyebrows off camera and i'll be right so guys i am back i've done my eyebrows off camera and now we are going to move straight to the eye shadow tutorial and you guys this is what we are going to be working with <laughs> Okay guys, this palette is going to be a very big challenge for me. I mean, I'm not a beauty guru, right? I love makeup and makeup is all about trying new things and trying new colors. So bear with me guys, if this thing doesn't turn out well. <laughs> Anyways, so I'm going to use it as my transitional shade. And the next is going to be this darker one here. My lid color is this. So I'm going to be using this, this and this. Okay guys this is how far i have gone with the eyes basically what i do is i put i apply the darker shade 
if if I realize that it has like a harsh line, I go back with the first shade I added to blend everything out. Guys, I don't want it to be too smoky. I want it to be light. But then I'm going to be cutting my crease, okay? guys this is the finished look you guys i am so surprised that i was able to nail this look like i did not have any idea on how this look is going to turn out i'm so so excited and i'm so proud of myself you guys i need an applause okay <laughs> my face feels like literally matte all i can say is that i love this foundation so so much and it doesn't feel like matte matte where you cannot move your face like you don't feel comfortable with the matte everything matte but it's so light matte if that makes sense but yeah oh my god this palette is so so good it blends so well it applies so well and i didn't have any fallout or whatsoever but i had a little challenge on it because you guys the colors are so limited as you guys can see they're so limited but oh my god look at what i was able to produce i feel so nice and i feel so proud of myself you guys <laughs> you guys have to rate this makeup oh my god i feel like <laughs> oh my god if you can lay your hands on this foundation you won't regret it and a little goes a long way just a small pinjinji pump <laughs> and the concealers are very very creamy i wish i had a concealer to highlight but this wash was able to get to me I still appreciate it contouring is just a technique okay if you look if you notice where I was contouring and moving upwards and that is why it blended so well so I'm so proud of myself that I'm able to do a cream contour not contour 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 <laughs> and this one is super pigmented you guys a little goes a long way don't apply too much you build it okay if you feel like um the little you apply is not enough just build it don't put too much like you're going to be looking like a clown you don't want to look like that guys we have come to the end of this video this review demo and everything if you stick around to this point thank you so so much i really really appreciate it and please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel 
and i just want to give a special thanks to my friend brenda for blessing me with all of these guys every juvia's place i have like i own she buys them for me each time she, she she is in cameroon she buys for me any juvia's place at all she's so obsessed with juvia's place and she has made me to be so obsessed with juvia's place you guys so brenda if you're watching this video thank you so much girl i love you so so much and thank you guys and i'll see you guys in my next one i love you guys Mwah!